Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. In this episode I'll show you how to turn your car's wired CarPlay and Android Auto into wireless, but more importantly, how you can install almost any app so you'll have access to YouTube or streaming platforms like Netflix. This product is so versatile that it works with most cars, from Dacia all the way to Tesla. So grab a box of popcorn, because we're starting with the unboxing. The product is called AI Box Elite and it was provided to me by One Car Stereo for testing and review. I made it clear to them that this would be a purely objective review and they still agreed, so I want to thank them for that. I've added a link to their online store in the description together with the 5% discount code displayed on the screen right now. This is the front of the box and on the back we have the product specifications. Still, it's worth noting that the unit comes with 2GB of RAM and 16GB of storage. Inside we find of course a well-written manual with detailed explanations and clear illustrations. Here it specifies that the device also supports a microSD card of up to 128GB, more than enough space for apps or even movies if you travel through areas without mobile data coverage, and further down, as mentioned earlier, it confirms the 2GB RAM and 16GB internal storage. The device itself is a small plastic box, compact enough to be hidden almost anywhere, and right here you can see the slot for the microSD card. So let's not waste any more time and see what this little box can actually do. I'll first show you how it works on a Dacia and then I'll show you how it works on Tesla. During the unboxing I forgot to show the two cables included, USB-C to USB-C and USB-A to USB-C. Of course you can also use your own cables if you prefer a longer one. Where you place the unit is entirely up to you. You'll need to switch on the ignition, then select CarPlay to access the AI box menu. Only then can you connect to CarPlay or Android Auto, depending on your phone's operating system. Next, enable Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on your smartphone and pair Bluetooth with the Smart AI box. From now on you can access Android Auto or CarPlay anytime by tapping the icon called Speed Play without needing to connect your phone by cable. The connection is extremely fast. Believe me, I've tested a lot of devices that switch from wire to wireless and I'm very satisfied with how quickly Android Auto starts up here. Those of you familiar with Android Auto or CarPlay note that the last used apps launch immediately after connecting, so in my case Waze and Spotify were already running. Here's the app menu. I tested Google Maps, which found the route to my destination almost instantly. And Waze performed just as well. Let's search for some no copyright music to check the sound quality. Now let's quickly pair an iPhone to test CarPlay. The connection was just as fast as with Android Auto and I'll let you see how smoothly it runs.
Alright guys, time to show what sets the AI box apart from a simple wire to wireless CarPlay Android Auto adapter. To run apps directly on the AI box, you'll need an internet connection, so I'll activate the hotspot. And from the AI box settings, I connect to my phone. You can tweak more options here, but everything is pretty intuitive. I'd rather move on to the apps. Replacing shortcuts on the home screen works just like on a smartphone. Long press an icon and pick an app from the full list. Of course, I'll start with presenting YouTube. And while I'm at it, don't forget to subscribe, like this video or leave a question if something's unclear. I'll be posting plenty more product reviews, each with discount codes so you can save some money. I scrubbed through the video and everything ran faster than I expected. And now let's jump to the most popular streaming platform. I should mention that there is a slight lag compared to a smartphone display when scrolling through menus, but it's not really bothersome once you get used to the box. After all, it's a fairly affordable device and after several weeks of testing I can say that videos run smoothly with no interruptions and I haven't experienced connection drops, something that often happens with lower quality alternatives. For screen mirroring, just open EasyCon, enable mirroring on your phone, and connect. Honestly, it couldn't be simpler. Thanks to mirroring, you won't notice any lag at all since apps run directly on your phone. Any pixelation you might see in the footage is due to recording. In reality, the quality on the car's display is much better limited only by the capabilities of the car's original media unit. Here are a few clips of me using this device in a Tesla. If you'd like to see how I manage that, check out the video linked in the description. As a final opinion, I have to say the AI box works reliably and I am generally satisfied with it. The connection with the phone is stable with no freezes and the performance is better than expected considering it has only 2GB of RAM. Its compact size makes it easy to hide or place discreetly. 
The only drawbacks I can find are the limited internal storage, which isn't really an issue since it supports external cards, and the fact that it can get warm during use. However, according to the specs, it is designed to operate safely up to 75 degrees Celsius, and from what I've seen, this does not affect its speed or overall performance. In terms of price, I'd say the value for money is excellent. I hope this video review helped you decide whether to buy it or not, I honestly think it's worth the money, I've got plenty more product reviews with discounts on the channel, so make sure you check those out too. Don't forget to reward the effort I put into making this video if a simple like, comment, share and subscribe is totally free. Until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye bye.